With so many great TV series to watch on the various networks and streaming services, there's just not enough time to watch them all. So coming up, as we do around this time each year, in this top 10, I'll count down the best TV shows that you can watch right now. These will be current shows with new episodes released since last year's video that we enjoyed the most. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number 10 is Shrinking. This comedy drama on Apple TV Plus stars Jason Siegel and the legendary actor Harrison Ford. Siegel plays Jimmy Laird, a therapist, while grieving the loss of his wife, breaks the rules and starts telling his clients exactly what he thinks. Ford plays Dr. Paul Rhodes, a senior therapist and colleague of Jimmy's. While the series does have some dark moments, it's also at times laugh out loud funny. Just give it a few episodes to hit its stride and you'll be hooked. Apple TV Plus has renewed Shrinking for a second season. In at number nine is the murder mystery crime drama, Poker Face. Available on Peacock, it stars Natasha Lyonne as Charlie Kale, a casino worker with an extraordinary ability to determine if someone is lying. When forced to go on the run, the series turns into a mystery of the week type series where she encounters a new cast of characters and mysterious deaths she can't help but to solve. Lyonne, as always, is fantastic, for those of you old enough to remember, her character has some tendencies that are very similar to Columbo. Poker Face has been renewed by Peacock for a second season. Taking the number eight spot is the action crime drama, Gangs of London. This British show was first broadcast on Sky Atlantic in the UK, along with AMC here in the States, and can now be found on AMC+. It stars Joe Cole as Sean Wallace, the son of Finn Wallace, the most powerful crime boss in London. After the assassination of his father, Sean takes over to thwart rival gangs attempting to take control. Gangs of London's cast is fantastic, and it's one of the most action-packed TV series ever to be created. Two seasons have already been broadcast, and will be coming back for a third season. Coming in at number 7 is the spy thriller Slow Horses. Available on Apple TV+, the series follows a group of dysfunctional MI5 agents sent to a low-level department under the direction of their miserable boss, Jackson Lamb, played by Gary Oldman. With sharp writing and superb acting, especially from Oldman, it's quite entertaining to watch as this group investigates schemes endangering Britain. Two seasons are available to watch right now on Apple TV+, and has been renewed for a third and fourth season. In at number six is the political thriller, The Diplomat. Available on Netflix, the show follows Kate Weiler, played by Kerry Russell. She plays the new U.S. ambassador to the U.K., where she helps to forge strategic alliances, diffuse international crisis, and adjust to her new role being thrust into the spotlight. All at the same time, she's also managing a failing marriage to Hal Weiler, a fellow career diplomat played by Rufus Sewell. If you enjoy shows like Succession with sharply written dialogue, the series should be on your watch list. The Diplomat has been renewed by Netflix for a second season. Just past the halfway point, taking the number five spot is Rabbit Hole. The spy thriller on Paramount Plus stars Kiefer Sutherland in his best role since the hit series 24. He plays John Weir, a corporate spy who is adept at deception and ruining lives. In this premiere season, he finds himself in a cat and mouse game with powerful forces when he is framed for a murder that he did not commit. Sutherland is surrounded by a strong supporting cast with plenty of plot twists that will keep you hooked throughout. There's been no official word yet from Paramount Plus if or when Rabbit Hole will be coming back for a second season. Coming in at number four is Tulsa King. Also available on Paramount Plus, this mafia crime drama was created by Taylor Sheridan, who also created Yellowstone. On a side note, as many of you know, Yellowstone's most current season is a disaster you'll find Tulsa King to be quite a bit more entertaining. It stars Sylvester Stallone as a captain in the Mafia, when released from prison, gets sent by his boss to set up a criminal organization in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The show is fast-paced, with a good story, and Stallone puts in an excellent performance. Paramount Plus has renewed Tulsa King for a second season. Before we get to our top three, here are six bonus picks that just may be worth your time to watch. Just barely missing out on our top 10, Hijack on Apple TV Plus stars Idris Elba in a seven-part thriller miniseries. 
Now the following shows, most recent seasons, were quite a bit worse than their previous seasons, making them not worthy of being in our top 10 this year. Agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. First of which, The Mandalorian is an action-adventure space western on Disney+. Ted Lasso is a sports comedy drama on Apple TV+. The Crown is a historical drama on Netflix. Barry is a dark comedy crime drama on HBO. And Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is a political action thriller on Prime Video. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is the eight-part miniseries Justified City Primeval. This American Western crime drama on the FX network, with episodes also available on Hulu, continues the story from the hit series Justified. Timothy Oliphant returns as Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. The story finds Raylan having left the holler of Kentucky, living in Miami, raising his daughter, pursuing a sociopath in Detroit, Michigan. At the time of recording this video, with new episodes still airing, so far, it does not disappoint. For fans of Justified, City Primeval will be a welcome return. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is Warrior. This martial arts crime drama is based on an original concept by Bruce Lee and was created by Jonathan Tropper, who also created Banshee, another one of our favorites. The series takes place in San Francisco during the latter half of the 1800s. It follows a martial arts prodigy who emigrates from China in search of his sister. Soon after arriving, he becomes a hatchet man for one of Chinatown's most powerful organized crime families. This is one of those shows that starts out a little slow, but once it gets rolling, you'll find yourself watching one of the finest shows available with fast pacing and tons of action. With each new season, it continues to get better. All three seasons are available on Max. There's been no word yet whether Warrior will be coming back for a fourth season. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What current TV shows are your favorites? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest top 10s and other tech-related stuff right here on Brett in Tech.